Hello everybody. Uh, so what I want to show you in this video is something uh, for our planet because I want to show you five things for saving energy at the OnePlus 8T. Okay, the first tool I want to show you here is a battery saver, so a power saving mode. Uh, it's already pre-installed, so scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and here we have the symbol for the battery saver. If you tap it, you can see that the display is reducing the brightness already, and that saves a lot of energy. And um, by the way, you can also adjust here next to the brightness as well. As less bright it is, as less um, it will um, take energy uh, from the from the battery. And uh, I would recommend you, by the way, to always auto adjust it here. So the sun with the A here should be always enabled because uh, on the day you need a bit uh, a bit brighter display to uh, see the stuff better here on the screen. And in the dark, so at the evening you need less light. But uh, let's come back to the battery safer. Uh, so it reduced the brightness, of course, a bit, maybe like 10% or something like this. And uh, next to it, disable also the background activities, what saves a lot of energy. And uh, we have a screen time out here as well after 30 seconds. So as we have learned, the screen is taking a lot of energy and that um, helps here as well. And you can chat you with something at the battery safer if you're going here to the settings, then go here to the point, uh, battery, and then, then we will need here the point, battery safer. Okay, I've um, actually uh, not scheduled here, but I can do that uh, based on my charging routine or based on percentage. So I would recommend you to base it on the percentage, but not at 5%, may at 20%. Um, so that means, if I have just 20% uh, of my battery, the battery saver will be enabled automatically. Okay, let's go back now one step here and another step so that you're back here in the battery general settings. And uh, we have here now the point view detailed usage. So if you tap this red words here, then you will see a nice statistic. Um, with the apps you, you, you are using the most. Now in my case, it's the OnePlus Launcher, YouTube, Camera, Chrome Browser, and so on. Yeah? So a very nice statistics, because here you can see the apps, which one are taking a lot of energy. And if you see on the top an app uh, you don't use often, yeah, then you know, okay, this app have a lot of background activity and you should think about to remove this app from your phone because this app takes then a lot of energy, as I said. And uh, let's go now here on the three points here on the top and show full device usage. This includes also the hardware. Né? And as you can see, uh, the screen is taking 50% of the energy of the phone. So you can see the screen is very important um, to um, uh, for, for, for the energy. And uh, let me go now back uh, one step another step so that you're back in the general settings. So this one here where you have all these points and now go here on the point display. It is the third one here. So and here, um, as I told you, the adaptive brightness should be enabled no? and sometimes also you can reduce the, uh, the, the display uh, brightness here as well. And this one here, the sleep. It should be just for 30 seconds. So these are the default settings, by the way. Sometimes it's uh, more comfortable to have for one or two minutes, but I recommend to you to just have it at 30 seconds because then the screen timeout will be a bit um, earlier and it, that takes a lot of energy. So if you forgot to uh, put your phone on standby, that means that after 30 seconds, as we can see here, the phone is um, going into standby mode and that saves a lot of energy. And we are here now also at our next point, uh, at the point advanced. We have here the refresh rate. Yeah? So the screen is very nice. It has 120 hertz, but 120 hertz are also taking a lot of energy. Yeah? And we can also reduce the energy if we go in just to 60 hertz. And that saves a lot of energy, as I said. Okay, the, the activities may on the screen if you have enabled before and if you're used to uh, looking not so smooth anymore. But to be honest, uh, many devices in the past uh, had uh, just 60 hertz displays, so be sure you will get used to uh, 60 hertz again. 
Yeah, so this feature you should, also if you want to save energy, just reduce it to 60 hertz. Okay, so uh, let me show you the next mode. It's a dark mode. Huh? The dark mode is something uh, for the night uh, to uh, help also the eyes a bit, uh, as we had already. The screen brightness is a bit disturbing at the night. And you can turn many white stuff here, like this one here. Huh? Uh, you can turn it into black yeah? and the uh, text you can have it then in white uh, so you can so you could turn it with the black mode uh, so just scroll down scroll down a second time and then on the second page you will find the dark mode if you enable this feature you will see it becomes dark and what is saving a lot of energy here is we have an oled screen so the hardware is very nice we have an oled screen and that means uh, all the points, uh, also all the stuff, which one is black here, um, the pixels turn off. No? And if the pixels are not working there at this uh, place here, that saves a lot of energy. So I would recommend to you to use the dark mode as well, next to the battery saver, because that gives the battery, again, a lot of more stamina. And um, you can chat shoot also this dark mode. If you say, okay, on the day it's uh, it's not bright enough for me. If I have a lot of sunlight, I cannot see something on the screen. You can enable this dark mode also. It's just automatically enabled um, at night. Oh, where we are here. And uh, let's go to the settings for it. So just scroll down here and go to the symbol for the settings. Then go to the point display. And here we will need the point dark mode. So, and here you can use it manually or you can turn it on automatically you know, with uh, starting um, uh, with starting here maybe uh, at the sunset and uh, stopping at the sunrise. You know? So the phone uses your location, uh, by the way, to do that. Uh, or you can set it up also with a custom time range um, like me now here uh, that it's go automatically that goes automatically at 10 p.m. on and using um, the end time in the morning at 6 a.m. But I would recommend you uh, because um, especially if you're living in a time zone where the sunset and sunrises are always changing uh, during the year um, to take here the uh, let me go back here to um, to uh, turn it on automatically here and choose this one. Uh, from sunset to sunrise because um, then um, the phone will adjust it automatically. Okay, and uh, yeah, let me turn it off for the for the moment that you can uh, see it maybe a bit better here. I don't know if it's disturbing on the video. Um, so I remove now the dark mode just for uh, show you more how to save energy. And we are at the last point. Uh, you can schedule the power off time so that the phone is turning off automatically. So for that, just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings, and then scroll down to the point. Utilities. So, and here we have the point scheduled power on off. And that means that you can set up a time where your phone should turn off automatically because if we are honest, we don't need our smartphone if we are sleeping. Right? And if you have a basic sleeping time, like the most people uh, at night, then um, you should uh, set up a time where your phone should turn off automatically. In case you forget it or something like this, um, the phone is doing it by its own. No? So um, you can set up here uh, below the time when the phone should turn off, like in my case, AM 12, so at midnight. And you can set up as well, also a time, if you say, okay, I need my phone also in the morning, may I receive an emergent call or something like this, you can set up also um, your, uh, your power on time, that the phone is turning on automatically. Yeah, and that saves a lot of energy as well. Yeah, we are at the end, and uh, I hope uh, I could show you some um, tips and tricks for energy saving. Um, it's really helpful for our planet, so think about it. And uh, also for our money, huh? because energy is saving, it also, it's also saving money. And uh, yeah, if you want, you can share this video or give me a thumbs up. 
you can leave a comment if you want. It would be very, very nice. Uh, and uh, thank you so, so much for all your support. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in, you can have a look also on my other videos. I will show you some more tips and tricks about the phone and so on. And uh, yeah, you, uh, you can also subscribe me if you want to follow me. It would be really a pleasure to see you again. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.